Howdy, folks. Welcome to Internet Roundup. I'm Chuck. This is Josh of Stuff You Should Know. And uh, we do this once a week. We like to poke around the internet and find little interesting tidbits of information. Yes, that's what we do. And you found a very interesting story uh, because I remember we did a podcast on sleep Mm -hmm. and why we need sleep. We didn't know. And at the time, they weren't even quite sure. No, and they finally have figured it out. That's right. Like, they they are almost positive this is the reason we shut down and sleep. At least enter the kind of sleep where our minds are turned off, uh-huh. even though our bodies might be moving and, and hence sleepwalking. And the reason it's so cool is because they're, it's the brain is cleaning itself. Y- right. And it's more complicated than that. It is, but, <laughs> but I mean, it's, much it's it. also as simple as that, yeah. too. So there's two types of uh, cells in the brain. You've got neuron cells and glial cells. Yeah. The neuron cells are the ones that like do the thinking and communicating and have the synapses that go off and the neurotransmission and all that jazz. And the glial cells apparently help this process along. Yes. Right? They, they keep the um, neural cells healthy. That's right. That's just while we're up and thinking. When we fall asleep, it's like a whole other world comes out. Well, yeah. While you're awake, though, while, what's going on is your brain uh, is building up waste products. Yes. Those cells are accumulating waste all day long. Right. And they did an experiment in mice, and they found out when you go to sleep in Betty by time, your brain shuts down, and neurons actually shrink in size to allow... Was it cerebrospinal fluid? Uh Uh-huh. I have a hard time saying that. It's a tough word. Cerebrospinal fluid. Right. uh, To flush the brain out. Yeah. And they actually shrink in size, and then when you wake back up, they swell back up. And uh, I think it was only like during the day it cleans still, but only at about 5% of its performance while you're sleeping. Right, because it's such an energy-intensive process. Yeah. So the neurons shrink, the glial cells around them open up and expand and basically form channels that the cerebrospinal fluid, which normally is outside of the brain, just bathing sure. it, um, can be pumped into the glial cell channels. It just flushes it. It's and, amazing. And flushes all the crud out. And this crud is the same crud that you that that Alzheimer's comes from. It's a plaque buildup of like uh-huh. proteins from these uh, neurotransmissions, the neurochemical reactions. And if you don't get it out of there. Well, you you end up with dementia or Alzheimer's or other like neurodegenerative brain diseases, right? Um, The thing is, is we have this going on in the rest of our body all the time with our lymphatic system. Oh, yeah. It just, you know, flushes things out uh, at all times. But what is it? The blood-brain barrier prevents that from happening in the brain. In the body, the brain is meant to kind of be kept separate. It's a little special, you know. It can't get quite as dirty as the rest of the organs. Yeah. But since it's not connected to this lymphatic system, uh, it has to have its own process. And now they figured out it's this process of glial cell... Um, channel cleaning that happens yeah. while we while we sleep. It's it's basically like a little dude comes in there with a hose uh-huh. while you're sleeping, just squirts everything off. Yeah, and Elaine Bennis is like, can he use a broom like everybody else? And <laughs> really, really cool stuff, man. Yeah. And I wonder what that um, is gonna. I wonder if they're gonna rethink how much sleep we need, like how long that process needs per night. Well, they were saying in the original um, full version of the article that. If they can figure out how to make this happen faster, yeah, you could conceivably get by on less sleep. Interesting. Yeah, and stay just as smart. Yeah. Wow. Uh, one other note about this one: the mice that they used for the experiment, it yeah. was so cute. They trained them to sleep on microscopes <laughs> really? so they could watch their brain cells <laughs> while they were sleeping. And how did they do that? I have no idea. With rubber bands? I I, I don't question <laughs> business in, insider. If That's they write point. it, I believe it. All right, this next thing has to do with flushing as well, and it is just a bit of silliness uh, in France. It seems like France is always like rife with weird little news items. And on strike. <laughs> what are they, on strike now? They're always on strike. Just about something. Mm-hmm. Uh, so apparently French officials announced a law change that allows homeowners to install toilets in kitchens and living rooms, which right. was previously against the law. Which kind of makes sense. I mean, that's a civilized law. But the French, which is surprising because it's a socialist country, yeah. are trying to cut down on the number of regulations they have. So they picked that one as one of many 
that they pared down. And as of December 1st, 2014, you can put a toilet anywhere you darn well please in your house. That's right. If you so want to poop in the kitchen. While you're making a grilled cheese sandwich. <laughs> you can do that. Yep. Uh, they just said it's a part of a process of simplification of regulations. I don't think there was some huge outcry for uh, kitchen bathrooms. No. Um, but I have to say that my good friend Billy in the 1990s <laughs> had lived in a little shanty shack in North Carolina and it was uh, had a toilet just right there in the middle of you know it's just a one room cabin sure and but no walls or anything so when I went stayed with Billy I would often wake up and just find him sitting there on the john man reading his paper I would have slept outside <laughs> I didn't mind it was kind of charming really you just wake up and be like yeah <laughs> roll back over <laughs> yeah well I mean this was <laughs> you never woke up we were in college at the time so yeah. I think I would these days I might be a little more discerning I think that's good or maybe not well, so, apparently uh, France is going the opposite direction. That's right. So, Frenchies, build that bathroom in your kitchen, I say, and cook your palm frites and take your uh, French poops. <laughs> and that's <laughs> Internet Roundup.